Lesson 21, Arithmetical Operators. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it, as we did in Lesson 1. There are five arithmetical operators in C++. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. All of these operators are binary. The characters on the left are the symbols used to represent each operation in C++. The first three operators are pretty straightforward, and this program illustrates the usage of these operators on ints and doubles. In advanced numerical work, you will often need to be concerned about overflow and minimizing computation error. But for most applications, this isn't an issue, so we will skip those subtleties for now. Here's the output. The last two operators are a bit more tricky. With division, for example, we usually need to be concerned about division by zero. More importantly, however, we note that division with integers does not necessarily give an integer result. If we divide 7 by 2, for example, we get 3.5 or 3.5. Thinking about long division, this amounts to having a quotient of 3 and a remainder of 1. C++ handles this situation by giving the quotient from the division operator and the remainder from the modulus operator. Here's a sample of division using ints and doubles. Note that doubles do not have a modulus operator since they can represent fractions. We can also apply all these operators to char variables, but we will seldom have a desire to do so. Despite the seemingly obscure nature of the modulus operator, we will find that it is useful for many applications. In fact, we will give one of the most common uses in the next lesson. One note of caution is in order though, the modulus operator will not always give a positive result. For negative numbers, the modulus is given as a negative as it is in this example. If you are familiar with the remainder theorem, this behavior is somewhat unexpected. This concludes the lesson.